The Type 54A is a class of stealth frigates deployed by the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy. The NATO reporting name for this class is the Junkai 2. The frigate is a major improvement from its predecessor, the original Type 54 frigate, particularly in the area of air defense. The 54A frigate excels in fleet air defense at a short to medium range, but is fundamentally also a multi-purpose warship capable of many different missions, including anti-submarine and anti-ship roles. The Type 54A class is built in two Chinese naval shipyards, the Hudon Zonghua Shipyard in Shanghai and the Huangpu Shipyard in Guangzhou. However, the vast majority of China's naval shipyards are likely to be capable of producing this frigate, because while this class is technologically sophisticated, it is not at the cutting edge of frigate's development. It is probable that the PLA Navy has decided to task the larger yards to building the bigger warships, such as destroyers, aircraft carriers, and amphibious assault ships. The PLA Navy has 30 Type 54A frigates in active service currently, with plans to commission at least 20 more, for a total of 50 ships. Given the speed of Chinese naval construction, satellite imagery and leaked Chinese information, it is likely that the PLA Navy can achieve this by 2025 and possibly earlier. Four frigates are also being constructed for the Navy of Pakistan, one of which is expected to be constructed in Pakistan itself. The construction cost of a Type 54A frigate is reported to be $212 million, according to Chinese sources. And this figure is comparable to many outside estimates. This price tag is very small compared to the frigates of other countries. For example, the British Type 31 frigate costs approximately $370 million per unit. And the Italian Brigamini class is $660 million per unit, both of which are much more expensive than the Type 54A. The mass production of the Type 54A in that its production process has been streamlined and the development cost has been dispersed among a large number of units, which reduces the per ship cost of the class. The ship has a relatively narrow build with a length of 134 meters and a beam of 16 meters. Total displacement is approximately 4,000 tons, which is smaller than the large frigates found in European navies. The frigate's maximum speed is 27 knots, and the average cruising speed is about 18 knots. Despite its somewhat small size, the ship has a long cruising range of about 15,000 kilometers, making it suitable for blue water operations far from home base. The hull features sloped surfaces and a smooth superstructure that are intended to deflect radar waves, and is reportedly constructed out of radar absorbance materials. This hull appears to be based on the design of the French Lafayette class frigate, which is the world's first purpose-designed stealth warship. However, some parts of the ship may affect its stealth capabilities, such as its round radar domes. Having outlined the basic characteristics of the Type 54A frigate, we'll move on to discuss its weapon systems, sensors, and combat capabilities and take a guess at its wartime role in the PLA Navy. The main weapon for engaging enemy surface warships are the eight YJ-83 anti-ship cruise missiles, which are subsonic, but are reasonably fast for a subsonic missile with a speed of Mach 0.9. There is also a 76mm rapid-firing gun for close-quarter engagements and shore bombardments. There are two triple-tube 324mm torpedo launchers capable of mounting both anti-submarine and anti-ship torpedoes. The anti-ship capability of the Type 54A is reasonably competitive, but the subsonic YJ-83 cruise missiles may have difficulty in breaching the missile defenses of larger enemy warships, such as the destroyer or cruiser. Moreover, the number of cruise missiles held by the Type 54A is limited, and their range is shorter than some of the more advanced cruise missiles of the Chinese Navy, such as the YJ-12 and the YJ-18. Therefore, in a surface-to-surface -surface engagement, 
the Type 54A should be used to support the more powerful missile strikes of larger warships, such as the Type 052D destroyer and the Type 55 large destroyer, and should not be relied on too much as the main source of surface firepower. The Type 54A frigate is strongest in the area of air defense for the fleet at a short to medium range, including in escorting carrier strike groups. The class has been described by Western and Chinese defense analysts to be a mini Aegis type of air defense ship, in the sense that the Type 54A possesses the main features of an Aegis combat system, but on a much smaller scale. The mini Aegis terminology refers to ships with a full or partial radar setup relative to a full Aegis system, combined with a smaller missile capacity than its vertical launch systems, or VLS. Examples of many Aegis capable warships include the Australian Hobart class destroyers and the Norwegian Fridjof Nansen class frigates. As a bit of background information, the Aegis is a naval combat system produced by America's Lockheed Martin, which is designed to defend against hostile missiles and aircrafts. The Aegis integrates a large number of VLS based anti air missiles, a close in autocannon for point defense a powerful 3D phased array radar and a decision-making computer into a combat system that can simultaneously track and engage a large number of threats. In the US Navy, the Aegis combat system is used in the Arleigh Burke class destroyers and the Ticonderoga class cruisers, which are large warships with the capacity to hold the necessary hardware. The Type 54A, mainly because of its small size, does not mount a full Aegis type suite, but do possess the key ingredients of the Aegis combat system, but on a much smaller scale, as we shall see. The Type 54A has 32 VLS cells that hold the HQ-16 surface-to-air missiles, which have an effective engagement range of about 50 kilometers. This range is sufficient to provide missile protection for approximately half the ships in the carrier battle group assuming that the frigate is deployed about halfway between the carrier and the outer ring of the carrier group. The Type 54A also has a pair of the Type 730 30mm autocannons for point defense. The autocannons represent the last line of defense against incoming missiles for the Type 54A. The frigate is equipped with an impressive suite of radars for navigation, target search and fire control purposes. The most powerful radar on board is the Type 382 3D Air and Surface Search Radar, capable of tracking 40 targets within the radius of 120 km. There are four Type 345 fire control radars operating in the F band, which are responsible for guiding the surface to air missiles to their targets, whether they be enemy missiles or aircrafts. A single Type 344 fire control radar guides the anti-ship cruise missiles, providing over-the-horizon targeting of surface threats. The Type, 34G, sorry, the Type 347G radar provides fire control for the ship's 76mm naval gun, which can engage low-flying aerial targets. Finally, there are two RM-1290 navigation radars operating um, in the I-band. The ZKJ-5 is a command decision-making computer developed by the PLA Navy and is installed on the Type 54 frigate. The system uses the radar suites to enable a timely response to fast-moving threats and the simultaneous engagement of a large number of threats, particularly those from the air. The ZKJ-5 also serves as a communication tool between the crew and between the frigates and higher command. The combination of the 32 VLS cells, the point defense autocannons, the 3D search radars, and numerous fire control radars, as well as the command and decision making system, combined together to provide a Type 54A frigate with a mini Aegis type of capability. However, it must be stressed that this capability falls significantly short of a true Aegis vessel in important ways. Firstly, the maximum number of threats that the Type 54A can track with its radar is limited to just 40, compared to the 100 or so targets for the large US warships. 
Secondly, the available missile cells are far fewer, at 32 versus the 90 or so on the Arleigh Burke destroyer. Thirdly, the HQ-16 missiles of the Type 54A have a much smaller range, making them incapable of providing long-distance air defense. While it may be possible to cram more hardware into the Type 54A to bring it closer to a full Aegis status, this would almost certainly rule out future upgrades to the, to the class, given the small size of the hull. These limitations mean that the Type 54A frigates should be just one component of a coherent air defense strategy for the fleet, rather than its main anchor. A formidable defensive setup for a PLA carrier group might have the full Aegis ships, the Type 52D and the Type 55 destroyers, positioned on the outer perimeters of the fleet, where they are best placed to intercept hostile missiles and aircraft at a long range. The Type 54A frigates may be best positioned in an inner ring within the carrier group, where it can intercept anti-ship missiles that have managed to slip past the outer ring, as well as to provide support to the destroyers. Another combat mission suitable for the Type 54A frigates is anti-submarine escorts or patrols. The Type 54A carries the U-7 anti-submarine light torpedoes, a pair of Type 87 anti-submarine rocket launchers, and may also be outfitted with the U-8 anti-submarine missiles in its VLA cells. For underwater sensors, the Type 54A has a hull-mounted sonar and a towed array sonar. Some sources state that the ships of the class also carry variable depth sonars, although this is unconfirmed. The ship also has landing pad and hangar facilities to accommodate one ASW helicopter, most likely the Z-9 or the Russian Ka-28. The anti-submarine weapons generally have a short range, with the arguable exception of the, of the U-8 anti-submarine missiles, which has a range of about 50 kilometers. Therefore, control of the air and the deployments of the helicopters would greatly enhance the ASW capability of the Type 54A. The Type 54A has some electronic warfare capabilities that should enhance its, survivab its survivability in a high-intensity combat situation. There is a Type 9221 radar warning receiver that detects hostile radar signals emitted by potential stress. The HZ-100 electronic countermeasure system is designed to deceive enemy radars and sonars, while a pair of 18-tube launchers fire decoys and aluminium shafts aimed at confusing enemy radars. Finally, the Kashtan-3 missile jammer forms a further line of defense against incoming missiles. Aside from its likely wartime roles, the Type 54A frigate is well suited to serve a wide range of tasks during peacetime. The class is suitable for protracted peacetime missions because their deployments frees up the larger and more capable warships that can be maintained in a state of combat readiness in case some sort of war breaks out. At the same time, the Type 54A has the endurance for blue water voyages that peacetime operations often require, which the smaller PLA ships, such as the Type 56 Corvette, do not have. The Type 54A is frequently used by China to patrol and assert its claims to exclusive economic zones in the South China and East China Seas, which are also claimed collectively by a large number of maritime neighbors. A frigate offers the, a desirable balance between the display of military force and the calculated management of tension, which a larger warship may not bring. When necessary, the Type 54A can also be used to intercept foreign naval ships, including US ships, that venture within 12 nautical miles of Chinese-held islands. The Type 54A has been deployed on anti-piracy patrols in the Gulf of Aden since the end of 2008 to counter piracy as part of a multinational task force. China has also conducted anti-piracy patrols in the Straits of Malacca and the South China Sea. The Chinese recognize piracy as a threat to maritime trade and its sea lines of communication. The Type 54A has also been involved in non-combatant evacuation operations, which rescue foreign civilians from countries experiencing violence and political instability. 
Major evacuation operations were conducted in Libya in 2011 and Yemen in 2015, as civil wars intensified in these countries. In conclusion, I consider the Type 54A to be a successful design for general purpose frigates, particularly in the area of air defence. The Type 54A offers formidable air defence capabilities for fleet at medium range and can be described as a scaled-down version of the US Navy's Aegis combat system. In addition, the frigate is competitive in terms of anti-ship and anti-submarine capabilities. That said, the Type 54A, being a relatively small warship with limited hardware, is not suitable for carrying out these duties on its own, and works best in a support role for larger units such as destroyers. In peacetime, the Type 54A frigate is wholly appropriate for fulfilling a wide range of non-combat missions that require blue water capabilities, as this frees up the more powerful PLA warships to maintain a state of combat readiness. These peacetime missions, including asserting China's maritime claims, anti-piracy patrols, and non-combat evacuation operations. Feel free to monitor this channel for future videos.